welcome to Creator Spotlight. We are here this week with Enigma, who has done the TTT City Room. If you haven't checked it out yet, it is super fun. And some other fun rooms like the Cereal Bowl. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Enigma. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. And what platform do you play on? I play on the Oculus Rift. Okay, and how long have you been playing Rec Room? I've been playing since January this year. TTT City has to be like completely full of circuits. Why don't you tell us about building the systems for that room? Okay, so TTT City um, is actually the second TTT map I've worked on. Um, the first one was the uh, test server, which was made about uh, a few months ago. And that one was like all my work. Um, so I was fairly new with the circuits. So I haven't done too much out of Rec Room. Um, so the map ran and got like a few visits. Um, it became quite popular at its time. Um, and then it kept breaking. So I had to be there a lot of the time to fix it. Oh no. Because there was things happening that I did not <laughs> understand. So on the TTT City map, which we released, I think two weeks later, we tried to rush it out to get something for people to play. Right. Um, I worked well with Scabbage. He's got quite a bit of experience with circuitry and um, made that run very well. So we built a map around it and how it's come to be. One of your other rooms that really caught my eye when it was first released was the Cereal Bowl. And I loved it because it was just so bizarre and unexpected. What was the inspiration behind that room? <laughs> um, the inspiration behind that one, it was um, just... The gizmos just came out, and the look at gizmo in particular, I was playing around with with eyeballs and right. net objects, and I just had the crazy idea that a giant face looking down into a bowl and people trying to run away from the fist coming down, and that's what inspired that map. So, I think that took about four hours to build. <laughs> that that was it. Um, I was supposed to do more with the map, but I never ended up working on it anymore. I noticed in a lot of your rooms, you have a really distinctive art style that you use for human faces and human heads. How did you develop that style? Um, really just playing around on Rec Room. Um, my first ever map was the Rick and Morty map, was the first creations I ever did. And playing a lot with the, the tools and getting the correct face shape, trying to anyway. Um, so I got like this passion for making faces and stuff. And when they brought out the costume, um, that's where it's really inspired me to make more. It's just a, a, I guess, a style I've developed because of Rec Room. I've... Right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, TTT Egyptian? TTT Egyptian is the new map I've released for TTT. It's the same circuitry. Um, runs a bit smoother with the um, way you join the game. Um, screen mode players having the trouble. Right. Um, so TTT Egyptian's resolved all that, and it's a much more confined map. I've Put a bit of thought into the design of it. It's um, all enclosed and I guess special Easter eggs in it as well. Okay, that's awesome. Very fun map. I quite enjoy it. Yeah. I noticed you're using the new um, Spooky Night Skybox, which is fun to see. Yes. Um, it just creates that, I guess, sense of don't know what's happening, like not far from you. So you're on edge all the time in the map. And it's, um, yeah, definitely gives it a different feel, quite like that um, setting. Do you have a top tip you would give for new creators in Rec Room? I, I'd probably say just um, make what you, you're you interested in, what you love, because um, TTT was a game mode I, from another game that I used to play, and it was my favourite game mode on there. So by making it here, I've brought my favourite game to the game I play all the time and love as well. So it's like made my experience here like, better. So just make what you love, and that's that's really... Thanks so much to Enigma for joining us this week. Be sure to like and subscribe below for more Rec Room content, and we'll see you next time on Creator Spotlight.